This is the Craftmanship Chronicle series on Go Local, and on this episode, our focus is on wood, trees in our hood. Kemi Michael here, your Yoruba named Aquarium Girl, welcoming you to Go Local. Now, Go Local is a podcast where we delve deeply and explore our nation's local uniqueness. Go Local, buy local, and together we stay global. As we get into it, do all to grab a cup of your favorite drink and a snack you would love to munch on. Oh, and make sure to make a Nigerian snack and get ready for an amazing ride. Since humans first realized they could make use of the materials they found in the vicinity, wood has been used and altered by us. People eventually learned about the special qualities of wood as they utilized it to satisfy a wide range of human requirements in peace and conflict, farming and industry. Throughout history, trees and their wood have been essential to human existence. Since ancient times, wood has been one of our most vital building elements, used for construction as well as for production of tools, weapons and furniture. Wood has historically played a key role in a lot of areas, and we Nigerians are part of that history. For this episode, I went to the Itamaga Sawmill in the Korudu area of Lagos State, where I was able to speak with the General Secretary of the Sawmill. My name is uh, Alaji Kaviru Adewega Ibrahim, and this is uh, Sogidowo Sawmill Itamaga. So I'm the Secretary to the Association. General Secretary to the Association. So you know, plant market association of, of Nigeria. Here in Nigeria and around the world, we have several uses of wood, such as agricultural purposes for making musical instruments, for carving religious figurines, to create household furniture, for casket production, for fortification, as well as for source of energy supply. For example, our firewood and general logs for fireplaces. The wood production in Nigeria has specific process and I will leave the explaining for the experts. The woods normally come in two by six. That is for roofing. Mm -hmm. So when it's when they boil to the like the ones you are looking there now, and it's two by six. So when they bring, they bring it here, if you want to saw it, you saw into two by four. Two by three, two by two. Those are the roofing plank. So we saw it on the to those sizes. If you need it for roofing, so we take it from the shed down to the machine side. So we saw it there. This is the if it is roofing. So we saw two by four, two by three, two by two. So for facing board, that's that one is one by twelve. One by twelve by twelve. So now like the one that they are putting down there. So that is one by twelve by twelve for fifteen bolts. So after you roof, so fifteen bolts, so you cover breeze or whatever. So that is what they use that one for so to seal the roof with the ceiling. So that's what they use it. They use it for. Just like other industries, the wood industry sure has its challenges. The challenges we usually face is the problem of this uh, marine police uh, or guard or whatever. You know, they are starting us too much. Hmm? You know Nigeria, that's Nigeria system. Corruption. Hmm? After we will have a saw wood, process it, take the license, but they usually, they usually collect a proof for wood, any wood cut. After that, if you pass through the water, if you see this marine police or whatever, see you, they will still collect money. I think you never collect any paper. So that's the Nigerian problem. So we face many challenges, yeah. At the same time, after they are coming from the, the river, the canoe bash, those the, the trucks that are coming to the stormy, those the policemen on the road, try to collect something, hmm? collect money. Hmm? Those are the challenges we have. The vegetation of Nigeria can be broadly classified into two types, that is, forest and savanna. Now, according to Statista in 2021, Nigeria exported forest products amounting to nearly 109.7 million US dollars. Most of these products were roundwood and sunwood, amounting to roughly 52.4 million and 8.1 million US dollars, respectively. 
All the main exported forest products included paper and paperboard. Mm, the wood always come from a Bayesa state, Ondo state, Edo state, and from Oyo as well. But the one coming from Oyo, that's one by 12 by 12, and at times two by 12. But two by six wood for roofing. Remember they come from Bayesa, Edo state, on those states, at the same time, from Ogun State, Ogun Water Site, the customer you have, if it is your, if it is a another customer, you, have, you must have, have a relationship. You can call you on phone and, or, and place order. So you call transport for him. When, when you've concluded with, the, with him for the quotation of the wood, so if you help him process it, you call um, trans transporter to transport it. So they will take it down to him or some do come inside the, the, to the market by themselves so they will negotiate price buy the wood call a motor to pack it because the, the, the transporters are they, they, they have their own station as well according to the united nations nigeria has the highest deforestation rate in the world with an estimated 3.7 percent of its forest lost every year that's what i'm saying our, our problem here and he said these are forestry people that are supposed to be handled at ministry of agri wherever they cut with the cut uh, timber supposed to plant it back in, immediately i know they, 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 they don't do that in the question of say 10 to 5 to 10 years now mm, that will be, be issue of a wood static those places that i'm talking the other time that is i do whatever if you want to get wood now, it's very, very far to the upland, to the river itself, to the swamp itself, too far. That's why the, food, the wood is very hot now. This is a call to action to the Department of Forestry, Federal Ministry of Environment. We in Nigeria are losing our trees and we need a solution to this loss. When one tree is cut down, I believe 10 more should be planted in its stead. Wood in Nigeria plays a very vital role, and leaving our forest to chance of the trees growing on their own accord is very risky. We need to be more intentional about our forests, and yes, also the trees in our hood. If you've ever wondered where you can get wood from, well, look no further. The sawmill at Itamaga area of Ikorodu in Lagos is right there for you. Now, if you happen to be a lover of DIYs, or you're a professional wood carver, an artist that uses wood for their craft, or one who uses wood in their everyday life, for example, writers. Well, always remember, wood is good, but we need more trees in our hood. Plant a tree today, save our environment. <laughs> Just